the first lady and minister of education and sports and the mother of this nation honorable janet kataha museveni let's consider reopening academic institutions as quickly as possible coronavirus has killed 44 people in seven months as of today that is six people per month but mama do you know how many women have died in seven months when they are giving birth every day in uganda we lose 16 women giving birth that is 480 women per month that is 3360 women who have died giving birth in uganda in seven months where coronavirus has killed only 44. Of course, these 44 people who have died of coronavirus is a huge loss of life to the people of Uganda. But you cannot compare them to the destruction the school closure has caused. Recently, Mama, there was a study in Britain where the British scientists recommended to the government to open up schools. They found out that children are in danger of contracting coronavirus while at home more than when they are at school it is the same situation happening in uganda these children who are at home whose schools are locked down their parents their uncles their nephews their mothers go to work every day these are the same people you find in Chikubo, you find in taxis, you find in Chiembe, you find in shopping malls, you find in arcades. In the evening, after contracting virus, they take it right into the homes where the children are. So children are more safer in school than at home. During this academic institution's closure, a number of bad things have happened to our children. Many, many girls have been raped at home. Many young girls have been molested while at home. Many young girls in secondary school are having unwanted pregnancies. Many other thousands are in forced marriages against their will. Hundreds of our young girls have lost their virginities while at home. Children in primary schools in p3 p4 p5 and p6 have been defiled while at home by their own parents by their own uncles by their own brothers because of the school closure this is imaginable this is incomprehensible this is unexplainable but it has come as a result of academic institutions shut down mama janet this is a whole generation lost because of coronavirus effects. Finally, Mama, we have lost good brains teachers of mathematics and chemistry and physics and history and science who will never return. And today, they are border border writers. They are chapat sailors. They are market vendors. Others are in bricklaying. It will take us more than a decade to recover from this academic brain loss. Cross check and see nations like Britain, nations like France, nations like Netherlands, where people are still dying in hundreds, their schools have reopened. Mama, did you know that our parents at the border of Tanzania, in Mutukula, in Rakai, in Chotela, do cross their children to go to study in Tanzania? Did you know that? Finally, Mama, let us take a risk and we will open academic institutions. Let us take that risk other nations have taken. Thank you, Mama, for reconsidering of opening of academic institutions. May God bless you. May God bless Uganda and for God in my country.